This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. See that? In red it says Alex. In white it says the Ramble. That's his eye. Hey, and good evening and welcome to our fine program. I'm I'm in bad shape tonight. I can't hear out of this ear. This ear suddenly went oh, plugged up on me, and I can't unplug it. So anyway, we'll just uh, we'll just I I gotta I gotta turn this up. I can't uh, even out of this ear over here having the same problem so i don't know i don't know i don't know mother dear you're growing older oh boy anyway where do i want to go oh yeah okay it's it's our uh, it's our wednesday night here and uh, he doesn't have his camera on uh, there well, we go there you gotta we go wait a minute for one reason or another yes. uh the camera every time it goes i have to press start the camera and start the audio yeah so uh, it's like i gotta you know wind up the clock or wind up what's, the what's that strip at the bottom of your screen uh, uh it's probably the back of my uh uh monitor let me uh see if i can fix that yeah web panels all right. oh, by the way, let me just do something here while I'm, I forgot to do it earlier. Let me see here. Where is it? Meyer. Here there we, we go. go. There we go. See, we'll put in his name. Poof. All Meyer. right. This, this is the magic. The magic that is the ramble. Uh, so, how's, how are you doing today? I can't hear out of this ear. Oh, did you take a shower? No. Oh, you, you know, try putting the, 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 uh, uh, the earbud in that ear. I did. Yeah. I can't hear. I yeah. Can't, it, it all it, it rings a lot. It's not, you know. Yeah. It, it's not good. Okay. So. No. You have tinnitus. What? Tinnitus, a ringing in the ear. I don't have tinnitus. No, I don't have a ringing in the ear. It's just uh, uh, I hear. Even though I turn up the hearing a lot here. It's, yeah. It's kind of hard to hear, out of this ear. Oh. Hmm. Uh. uh yeah, I don't think I've done anything that would no, cause no, 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 no. This happened before I went on the air. I was cleaning out, the, doing something with the new refrigerator, trying to get it so, you know, we have to rearrange things from what, where they were. And I was trying to re-get a drawer into the into the refrigerator, and all of a sudden, I can't hear, I, I hear 50%, maybe 75% less out of this ear. Okay. Uh, try one thing, though, that might be... Uh, the board push your jack in and make no, no, sure it has actual, nothing to do it has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with the earphones it has to do it has to do with my hearing in this ear yeah. i can't hear you know it's that havana syndrome uh you remember all of these guys they were playing some sort of directed uh, energy and it uh and it caused a bunch of people to get sick yeah. uh, in cuba and some other embassies around the world mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe they're attacking your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Could be why it why it went off when I was I was down on the floor using the refrigerator. I don't know. Well, you have to get on the floor to use your refrigerator. I don't know. I'm tired of coming on here and saying how sick I am and all of that. Also, I'm thinking of stopping the show anyway. I'll tell you why. Because yeah. yeah. I'm getting uglier. Uh, join a club <laughs> yeah, no. and i i just you know and then the other day i was doing the the monday show and at one point i couldn't think of the next words to come out of my mouth i know that happens it does but, happen uh, yeah you know it's it's we're getting older it's not alzheimer's or anything it's just normal aging uh, uh you know i know why you want to quit the show why? because you heard of a position open at cnn this yeah. guy zucker quit yeah. And, uh, you know, now they're going to be looking for somebody that knows what they're By doing. By the way, I feel bad for him. I really do. Yeah. I mean, no matter what you think of CNN, I feel bad for him. And I'll tell you I, why. 
Okay, tell me why. He worked with this woman for 20 years, and it wasn't until about the last year and a half or two years, they suddenly realized they really liked each other. Yeah. You know, and they, they had a romance going in the office. You know, I mean, they're not there humping on the desks or doing anything like that. In fact, I think they kind of kept it secret, so it, you know, it wouldn't become. It was a. I read that it was a secret that everybody knew about. Yeah, but uh, but nevertheless, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, is there is there a uh, uh, a code at CNN that uh, they well, can't? Well, I mean, it, it's so. I mean, come on. Many times, the people that you wind up with were people you worked with. Yeah. You know, and and I, would, I, I figured he was going to go for Brian Stelter. I, I figured that if he waited for twenty for eighteen years or nineteen years before he went all the way with this woman, uh, I would say that it was just suddenly one day they looked at each other and said, "You know, we get along so well, and we've had such a wonderful relationship. Why don't we take this to the next step?" And well, I don't see what he did wrong. Well, they could have used it as an excuse. To get rid of them because their uh, their ratings are in the dumper. They're uh, uh, according to a, a number of people. Uh, he's a micromanager, and uh, no, supposedly they, according to what I read, they felt he was a really good manager. That he was a, a kind of a, a a guy who wanted people to work hard, and he drove them. But that he was well liked, you yeah. know. And uh, uh, CNN, he's by his by by that woman after you know yeah. it took eighteen years, CNN, but he finally but, broke her down. But CNN's not doing that badly, you know. Yeah. You, you listen to Fox talk about it, but you know, Fox ain't doing that well either. Uh, no, they you know they don't have any advertisers. You got My Pillow, uh, you got some uh, uh, a vitamin that gives you fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I saw and, that. Marjorie sent away for that, and yeah, uh, is it any good? I don't know. I just I figure if I'm too lazy to eat a vegetable, or to yeah. or to have a fruit, then I don't deserve to take a pill to replace it. You, <laughs> you got to take three each. That's six pills. That that's almost a third of the pills I take every day. Wait, how many do you have to take? I take about nineteen. No, no, these oh. these no these fruit oh. and vegetable uh, pills. Three each. Three of the one color and three of the other. Really? Uh, at least according to the commercial. Oh wow! And uh, so you're going through a bottle of that in about a day and a half, right? Yeah, I th- I think it's only like a month's supply that you get for. Uh, I think the initial one is fairly inexpensive, but as soon as you start taking it for any length of time, it's well, these, seventy, these, sixty, seventy dollars a month. Guys, before they were selling these kind of pills, I believe were dope dealers. Yeah. So yeah, you know. well, no, 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 they uh, they were selling the pills that gave you a hard on. And oh, extended your penis. <laughs> you remember those? <laughs> your friend, uh, no, what's I, his I, name? I, I never needed those. Yeah, well, you know, you had you, your friend, the um, uh, the porn star. What, what was his name? Ron the, Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. He used to advertise those uh, on TV. Hmm. He was the spokesman for uh, uh, Easy Something or uh, Extends. Extends, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't think there's any way to grow your penis. Yeah, you rub it a and few I, times. You know, I also wonder one other thing. I say, I'm having a hard time hearing you tonight. But that's oh. not, stop it. No, don't, don't turn yourself off. But I'm having trouble hearing. I told you yeah. that before. Yeah, did you take a shower and get water in your no, ear or something? No, I didn't take a shower. I took one yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. What, with the neighbors complaining? Yeah, and, and, and it rings a little bit in the ear. Boy, I'm telling you. Yeah, uh, it, it could be because of the 5G phones and all of the uh, technology you have in your apartment. You're starting to radiate. Oh, I know what and, it is. Yeah. The COVID vaccination. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah I, uh, I read that uh, there was an Italian study uh, that determined that if you didn't get the vaccination and you ended up getting COVID, that you had natural immunity for 18 months. Well, and yeah, that lasts yeah. longer well, than the booster. And you have immunity, actually, for life, because you'll probably die. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, what kind of a, a, a thing is that? I mean, if if you take it, if you take the the vaccine, the, you're, the, and you do get COVID, it will be a very light case of COVID. By yeah. the way, we have somebody here at GabNet that got COVID. Who? 
or tested positive for COVID. Who was that? Franchise MC. Really? Our sports guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he didn't do a show tonight. Oh, I didn't realize. How do you find his show? I find it very good. No, no. Oh, but how do you find it on GabNet? It's on. Uh, he's on it. I think it's nine. <laughs> I think it's it's eight thirty on. Uh, on Your time? Uh, yeah, or, or maybe it's nine thirty. Wait a minute. Let me look at the site. I forget because he posts the thing and then runs it. It's a yeah. strange kind of thing. And uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got. Uh, let me see here. Let me go here. And there's the uh, Damon Ch Damian Chapel. I'll tell you in a couple of minutes when it comes up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I uh, I wrote you earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, St Stephen Pearl had a uh, had a post uh, on Facebook, and uh, everybody on that post was climbing on eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay. On Wednesdays. And uh, on Wednesdays only? Yeah, and then you can also hear it on our 24-7, and you can also uh, play it using our gabnet.net page. It's there. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, a anyway, uh, I, this Whoopi Girl Goldberg thing. Mm -hmm. So Stephen Pearl posts a thing that, as a Jew, he's pissed off at Whoopi Goldberg. And, you know, what she said, uh, I, I don't like Whoopi Goldberg. But as far as I was concerned, I didn't think she said anything uh, that was wrong. Uh, you know, Jews are in all races. There are black Jews from Ethiopia. There are Sephardic, Sephardic Jews Sephardic from North Ethiopia. Africa. Yeah. You know, there, there are Jews all over the world. And when I am asked, what is my race? Uh, I answer Caucasian. Uh, I don't answer Jewish. Jew Judaism is a religion. And uh, so when Whoopi Bol Goldberg said that uh, the Holocaust was man's inhumanity to man, mm -hmm. well, I, I thought that she was correct. And, uh, and it had nothing to do with race. Well, you know what she should, should have done? She should have said, everybody's yelling that I should uh, take back what I said. So I take it back. Uh, the Holocaust wasn't inhumane. <laughs> then they'll really go after her. Well, I mean, but, you I know. mean here's, the, here's the point. I, I agree with you, Phil. It's one of the few times you and I agree. Yeah. I mean, I, I look, to begin with, I, I knew Whoopi. And she's a lovely, lovely, decent person. Okay. Yeah. And she played me once, by the way. Well, it didn't exactly play me. She replaced me as the host of Comedy Tonight and took over my position. So I always I, told everybody she was doing me. Okay. Uh, I see. Anyway. She was the guest host. Uh, nice lady. Just really I'm nice. I'm sure lady. she is. You know? So I don't, you know. Uh, I don't I, think I, so I, on and, the and, view. And, but and she, but Forget about that. Okay? Yeah. It's, you, that's, that, that's her politics that bothers you. Don't. That's not the way you right. judge her as a person. Uh, I don't think she meant it as anything. I, she was saying stupid. I think what she was saying was to her, because she's black, she knows when something is racist, but she also knows when something's inhumane. Right. And that she didn't feel that, that it was racism against the Jews. It was an inhumanity towards the Jews. That's correct. And it was anti-Semitism, not racism. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, we agree. There's nothing to fight about. Well, I mean, but, uh... you know, I mean, I don't think that she was wrong in what she no. said. I, I no, think neither she, do I. Maybe she shouldn't have said it, you know, because it, today everybody is jumping on everybody who has I mean, there are even people jumping on your man Trump. Right. You, you well, know, who are but, who are who are right wingers. Right. But th this is the left wing jumping on uh, a major left wing uh, person in Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, this is the, the woke gone crazy. And you know what? I wonder if really it doesn't matter whether you're left or you're right, that there's a group of people out there that just want to be uh, that want to cause 
people to uh, be separate and uh, and to divide and conquer and to try to take over uh, with these Marxist Marxist views. Well, it's and- it's it, it, it's a holier than thou attitude. Okay, it's yeah. somebody trying to say I'm hipper than you are. You know. Yeah. It's really bull. It's bullshit. You know. Yeah. No, I I, I understand. You know. So yeah, when I when I posted that on uh on steve's uh thing uh he says as a jew i have the right to scowl at Whoopi goldberg for 47 minutes straight and so uh almost to a person uh everybody on that post jumped on Whoopi goldberg as uh someone that uh was bad now and and you know i'm sure that Look, if you uh, think oh, she's wrong point her out as being wrong okay that's fine yeah. Playing around as being wrong. I think she probably shouldn't have said that, but I don't think that she's a horrible person for having said it. And she, I'm, I'm not going to eat my own by doing it. But you know? they are. You know, the, the thing is, I, I don't support Nazis, but I do support their right to say what they want to say. Well, you yeah, know, this so, is America. Well, so does the ACLU. I mean, they defended right. uh, the guys in Spokey years right. ago. I mean, yes, they have a right to say what they're going to say to a limit. And that limit is that what they say doesn't hurt somebody else. Right. But now, is now it the, let me give you, let me give you an example of something. Yeah. The other night, now, call this just coincidence. Yeah. But the other night, uh, Trump gave a speech in which he talked about how we should take up and do this and do that and whatever and did a kind of a rallying cry. Yeah. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, against uh, you know those people who would want not want him to be president and would keep him from being president and so on, and that you should do something about this. And the next day, something like three different black colleges got bombed, firebombed, after he gave that speech. Could be a coincidence because Wait he was very good to black colleges in uh, in no, funding no, them. No, no, forget forget about his past. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking about now. With the kind of rhetoric he did in his speech the other night, people are saying that this incited people to go out and do these things. Wait a minute, hold on. A I didn't hear his speech. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Well, it supposedly it was very inflammatory at certain points. Well, I mean, of course, that's the way he is. Well, no, he suggested that if uh, uh, if um, uh, he doesn't, uh, what is it? What was it? He said that he to begin with he was going to pardon all the people who stole oh, the, the people Capitol. January 6th that I read do you agree with that not necessarily oh, what do you, mean, not necessarily? Uh, you know it depends it depends uh if they were there to incite riot if they were there to try to disrupt the uh the, the situation I, I believe that there were a lot of people that were just caught up in in the moment but uh, I think there were some instigators that uh, mm-hmm. we're trying to do damage. Mm-hmm. And uh, those people need to be, uh, uh, have their day in court. Mm-hmm. Well, but, he, but anyway, uh, you know you know, I've got waiting to come on. We should have him here, because he'll remember what uh, Trump said the other night, I think. I think, I don't know. Uh, Charlie Wallace, are you there, Charlie? Wait a minute, here he, here he is. Okay, let me just get rid of that. Uh, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did Trump say the other night that incited, they think incited people to uh, burn those colleges? Well, Fire he said that colleges. the people that were coming after him legally were, you know, and the legal people coming after him were racist. And that if they do try to arrest him or whatever, then there should be the biggest protests and quote protests in history. And he, you know, this is after he said thing about the people of January 6th were, have been mistreated horribly, and so... Uh, but didn't he say something else that was inflammatory that would have caused people... Yeah, he to said that the the big, when he said the biggest protest, in other words, to go after these racists. Uh, you might be... trying to attack him. That's the way he came across. I don't remember exactly what his words were, but it's out there on YouTube. So Trump, are you saying, Charlie, that Trump called for going after racists? for these races and he missed specifically mentioned georgia the uh, the prosecutor in georgia that's going after him for trying to rig the election in in georgia 
Oh yeah. They well, the, the guy's office and said, "Find me those votes." By the way, that that uh, d that uh, attorney general, yeah, uh, has been Rasenberger. Rasenberger. Yeah, he's ha he's literally his family has been threatened. Yeah, on numerous occasions. So anyway, and so the, the those black colleges were not firebombed, but what they were is bomb threats were called in. Was that it? Five different colleges. And the colleges had to be evacuated because of the bomb threats right yeah. after Trump's speech. And they were all black colleges. They were all black colleges. Yeah. We used to do that at my high school all the time. Well, that was just so you could, you could get out, <laughs> get of, the out of class. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't I, don't, I haven't been following Trump. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm at the point if if you equate it to uh, mask mandates and covid and trump i'm at the same level of i'm tired uh I, and i'm tired of it all and uh i mentioned that uh, a few weeks ago about uh, covid and i think that's beginning to catch on but as far as trump goes uh trump's had his day uh the election is over uh, there's somebody else in the in the White House, and it's time for the country to move on. Trump was a great influence, and I feel he was a fabulous leader. But it's time for Trump to go off into the sunset, maybe advise people. Uh, but I I really think that there are uh, people out there uh, like uh, DeSantis, uh, like uh, who's the uh, black uh, senator from. Uh, South Carolina. There's only one. That's Scott. Scott, a uh, younger guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's great. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, I, but, I would. But Phil, I would Phil, support... Phil, don't you realize he's a Negro? Uh, you know, Trump's never going to support him. I thought he was <laughs> just getting a really good tan. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, but uh, you know, Trump tried to look like uh, Scott, but he couldn't. Yeah. It, it turned orange. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, I I'm thankful for the Trump presidency. I know that you guys don't agree with that, but I also feel that it's time it's time to move on. And he doesn't. well, that's that's his prerogative. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, if if Trump were to run again in the primaries. I don't know that I would vote for him. And I have a feeling that most people feel as I do. I think they're fatigued by him. I, yeah. I would agree with you on that. Also, uh, he, they were fatigued by him. Also, when you talk, you talk about mass fatigue, um, you know, you can be as fatigued as you want, but still the mass are saving lives. I'm not so sure well, because there are a lot of countries that are dropping the mask mandates and the and the uh, uh, the the COVID injection uh, uh, things, not making it mandatory. Which anymore. countries? Uh, England, uh, mm -hmm. Ireland, uh, yeah, England, New Zealand. Has England stopped it? That uh, yeah, the UK. Yeah, they did, but that's Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson is just as much of an idiot as Trump. Well, it's just that the statistics. How about any other country? No, they're not. The, the COVID is is skyrocketing in in Britain right now. Right, but these, uh, but it's skyrocketing in Israel, and Israel is the most vaccinated country in the world. So uh, maybe the, the lockdowns and these mandates aren't working, uh, as they say. Maybe we have to learn to live with COVID. And uh, but living with no, COVID, is three thousand six hundred and seventy five people died with COVID. Today. Right. But you know what? Last year, uh, the same day, 50 percent less people died. And, uh, you know, we didn't have all of the things that we have today. Uh, there wait, were nineteen hundred deaths. Wait, 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 would you go back? Fifty percent. That's not true at all. It's the same. Uh, I, I, just, I just saw it. It was nine thousand people a day. No, they. Uh, it, it's uh, it's the. Last year? If you go to if you go to Drudge, it's the last. Oh, if you line. go to Drudge, well, hey, Dr Drudge doesn't like Trump. Uh, I'm going to Johns Hopkins. That's oh, Johns Hopkins also every day. Well, I was support. I you can go on my my Facebook page and go back a year ago. You can see what the stats were. I got it directly from Johns Hopkins. It's posted every day for the last since April 1st of 2020. Yeah, well, posting them. 
Alex can't hear, and I can't remember what I read about Johns Hopkins this morning, uh, but there was a uh, doctor from Johns Hopkins uh, uh, saying uh, something that uh, supported my position, but uh, I can't quote it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not finding it. And, then, and, of course, I'm not seeing the, uh, the thing on uh, how many people got COVID, how many people died. Uh, on this uh, on the drudge thing so mm -hmm. so quit giving us a statistic that isn't true well, no it, I, I, I just not, I, it's not, not a, that it wasn't uh, true I just couldn't find it we couldn't <laughs> find it because maybe that wasn't what was there well, yeah it was there where would I make that up uh, ah, okay of course you know what happens is when you start looking on the phone everything Here, changed. let me go Look to drudge it. let me go to drudge and you can tell me where to go it was the last it was the last uh, thing. It, it, it had the COVID um, numbers, uh, and it compared this day today to this day last year, 2021. And uh, it had 3,000-something uh, deaths today, and it had 1,900-and-something deaths for the same day, uh, February 2nd. So where, 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 where is that, where is that story on Drudge? I don't see it here. It that was the, it was the last the line. Of deaths per day. The last one at the very bottom. One day yeah. Four thousand the next. Uh, but I it's I can't find it now. Oh, here we go. It's COVID cases in the USA in 2021 on this day. Right? Yes. One hundred and forty-one thousand eight hundred and fifty-four. No, not cases. I was talking deaths. Okay. Uh, a year ago, uh, it was. Uh, 1950 deaths and then, right and today it's 1579 deaths oh it was 3900 oh it's, no. there, it's, it's almost 4000 for the day yeah i don't know where you saw that and i can't find it again but uh it, it's 3900 today and it was 1900 the year before so yeah, uh, uh, i can i can say but that that's day to day it's just like it was uh it, it was 30 well i have 3675 today but it was only 2300 two days ago on monday so day to day it can change like that what you do look at is the average if yeah you look at the average deaths per day for the past seven days that's what what will tell you what i, I understand like. what i quoted was what i just what i had seen earlier which was deaths were up by almost 50 percent uh uh today as a comparison to a year ago day for the same day so well, that's like saying that doesn't it, it, matter it, it's 60 degrees today a year ago today it was only 35. well i mean right. that's because day to day the weather changes and day I, to day this this you, you at know the average. but today 3900 last year same day 1900 okay. that's a 50 percent increase we have all sorts of stuff now and and maybe the way that we're going after covid isn't the right way to do it well i think the things you have to look at are deaths and i'll tell you why that was deaths how many deaths 3900 today 1900 last year the same day okay so that's the but that's <laughs> like i say like i said that's day to day that's like comparing the temperature today with the temperature on this day a year ago and then trying to say and you got to remember no climate change because <laughs> because of, of those single day comparisons at this time a year ago we hadn't even yeah. given out our first shot yeah right yeah. and there was only 1900 now we've got 200 million people we have 200 million people vaccinated in this country i had my first vaccination on january 20th so yeah but they had given the vaccine, vaccine. Well, you would have gotten it earlier if January 6th you weren't over at the uh, at the uh, Hall of Congress. <laughs> when did I get my first one? Hold on a second. I'm, I yeah. got my second one on February 23rd. So, I mean, it's like, I, uh, let's see. I, I took pictures of my... Uh, no, I got my, my I got my first one on the 20th of, uh, of uh, January. See, and, yeah. And I got my second one on the 27th of uh, February. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we had the vaccine, but the, the I got I mine. Saying, there were days. There were days at the beginning of February, beginning of January, at the end of January, where we had over four thousand deaths. Just of course, that one I'm, day, I'm, February the second, we Charlie, did. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. All I did was quote what I saw today. Yeah, but then you tried to say that that means we're doing things wrong. I, today, 
as a comparison to this day last year, we're up 50 percent. And it but could and my, it could be and it could be I mean, because a lot of people are not being assiduous about following the protocols. I don't know. Because people have got into- the same fatigue you've got and they're just saying, fuck it, I'm not going to wear a mask. I can't and walk into a store a or a restaurant without the mask. If I don't have the mask on, now, I went out for sashimi tonight. I think you don't. I in San the mask on. You don't in San Francisco anymore, do you? Didn't they do away with the mask mandates and eating I don't, places? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. Yeah. I don't go to San Francisco very much since it became such a cesspool. Mm. But uh, uh, tonight, yeah, I went out and uh, I had sashimi. Mm-hmm. Uh, I walked in with the mask. They put down a glass of water. I was able to take off the mask because if there's any food on the table mm-hmm. or if I'm going to engage in eating and drinking there's no covid so you know uh, it's i think the whole thing might be a little phony let me bring alan in here he has some statistics he just sent me. he's just okay. got a lot of masks and he's afraid he's going to get stuck with them and he oh, wants to I make sure he can wear them i just i went out and uh i had sashimi uh, oh alan i oh, think alan. your uh your audio's on uh for your um Food on the table. Oh, there, there's a uh, sorry. It's for YouTube or whatever you got. Yeah. On. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh. Me off guard, bringing me in. Uh, yeah, I just sent. Uh, it's uh, a good thing you weren't jacking off. I, I, I'm, <laughs> now, I'm learning my lesson to block the, the video when I walk away from it. So anyhow, I just sent Alex and Charlie, and I'd send it to you, Phil, but you wouldn't look at it. The statistics for how many deaths happened in that year. Uh, it, on February 2nd, 2021, there were 3,611 deaths. That's according to the CDC. And then it was published by the New York Times. So well, who published? That's, that's in. The, that's double what you said. Alex, who published the one that we just looked at in Drudge? I have no idea. All right. I don't think uh, they do either. Oh, my, uh, uh, my first shot was January 20th. Yeah, see? Yeah. And my second one was uh, the 11th of February. But what you also got is you also got Omicron, which is eight times or nine times yeah. more, no, we, more we, I was visible than the, than the variant that was running around. Yes, the- but they're saying that Omicron doesn't isn't as deadly. And no, we, they, we they, they said it's people not as... People that are vaccinated isn't. For people that are unvaccinated, that's the people that are dying. Phil. It may yes. not be as deadly either, but it's 10 times as many cases of Omicron as there were right. of the other Charlie, cases. Charlie, how many people have come down since the beginning of COVID in the United States? How many people have uh, been infected with COVID? 75 million, 600 some thousand. Okay. I got and, to post it there. And of those, do you have any idea how many got vaccinations afterwards? No, that they, they don't. That's yeah. not that in the statistics. Okay. Well, the only it. reason I ask is that if seventy-five okay. million so what are you have natural we, immunity, we, we, we should we should just not wear masks anymore. No, I, if seventy-five million have natural immunity, that's good for eighteen months, according to the Italians, and two hundred million have been jabbed in this country. Uh, we're very close to the to ninety percent of the population, and uh, no, you know, you're, 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 your facts are, are, are San Francisco, Alan. Uh, oh, Alex asked me a question, and I didn't have the answer. Uh, are mask mandates still <laughs> are mask mandates still uh, uh, in place in San Francisco? Absolutely. All right, so. So, uh, so Denmark happens to be the country that has the most people that are vaccinated, not Israel. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that even people that are boosted can get Omicron. Okay. Yeah. And people are getting it, but they're not getting hospitalized and dying. The chance, if you're, if you're vaccinated and boosted uh, against, against COVID, uh, the, the, the chance of death is 0.003. It's been that way for a couple months, according to the CDC and John Hopkins. I look at both of them. They're both, well, the CDC is not very reputable, but John Hopkins certainly is. And so you, it depends on where you get your information. You know, I mean, you, you're just. I get it from Drudge. Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> well, yeah, well there you go. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, you know, 
you've beaten this COVID thing to death. Uh, how about Roman. Whoopi Goldberg? Wait, 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 guys, wait, wait, wait. We've beaten this thing to death. You're beating it to death. You're beating it to death, Phil. Ah, yeah, oh, you're, you're, you're beating your lips to death, you know. Well, I don't want people, I don't want people, man, just make a disclaimer here uh, so that I don't get thrown off Spotify. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the next thing. Yeah, you know, uh, you know that uh, when I first moved well, to wait, San wait a minute, let me, man, please do my disclaimer. disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, that um, uh, in spite of the fact that Spotify is all for you drinking bleach, um, I uh, I think that uh, uh, I should say that Phil is not a doctor, and most of the time he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Okay, so Dr. don't Phil, listen to and him, three, and, and don't 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 suddenly that. stop wearing your masks and getting vaccinations, because he this wears is all you need. If you wear one of these, you don't need a mask. You know they're using <laughs> those as toilet paper now. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, talking about Spotify. It's very interesting. The other the other day, uh, I, I thought about this girl that I started dating in San Francisco, like a, a week after I moved to San Francisco mm -hmm. in 1974. I'm a and she, and, yeah, and she was murdered by her brother. Her name is Amy Gossage. Uh, her father was a, a, a guy who, uh, uh, in, you know, the Beethoven T-shirt. <laughs> Uh, he uh, he invented you know he made that he, he was in advertising so anyway Amy Gossage also dated at the same time Graham Nash and uh, what's the so, point you're trying to make he, oh Graham yeah, Nash she, she dumped you was, obviously she dumped you no no she was killed uh, yeah. so anyway uh, yeah she was murdered she was stabbed by her brother who who was a heroin addict and he had a really cool car he what is a, the point you're trying to make yeah. here by trying to drop names <laughs> graham nash just told spotify to pull his music off good okay well so, look, look here i said this on monday on the monday show uh, yeah and it's worth repeating here that i think the problem with all these people saying that they're they don't want their music played as long as joe rogan has a show are not the right people now if taylor swift said that spotify yeah, would do something but i think but it's, with 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 joni mitchell and graham nash and uh uh uh, uh what's his name uh, his name the other mm -hmm. the other crosby ten of them now, uh, still neil young. no uh Nobody knows who they Neil are. Young, yeah. Neil Young. Neil Young. Uh, uh, they, they try to... Uh, well, wait a minute. Let me finish. Yeah. I mean, uh, these are people who, quite frankly, Spotify goes, eh. I, I don't <laughs> think <laughs> that's the case. The, the kids if, on Spotify don't know who the hell they are. The, exactly. Right? But if Taylor Swift were to say, do not play my music anymore, they'd be having oh. a really hard talk yeah. with no, Joe but Rogan. think about this. These people are trying to cancel Joe Rogan, and they're also trying to cancel uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. And uh, so th this no, is No, they're the not same, trying to cancel the anybody. What they're trying to do is stop, stop having their music associated with an organization that sends out bad information on COVID. Well, right. I thought that Joe Rogan, I didn't listen to his podcast, and I really didn't know, I had no desire to, to listen to him in the first place. But but, uh, but, uh, but. Uh, I understand that he gave both sides. Uh, no, he did. No, he did. No, he did. No, he did. No, everybody. He didn't. Drink. No, he didn't. He yeah, said he was possible. going to now. I yeah, he, yeah, now he do that in the future, but he hadn't done it yet. All <laughs> right. Well, anyway. The guy has a, a big voice. I guess there's a lot of people that uh, supposedly two million people listen to him a day. Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't beat Gabnet's numbers, but you know. No kidding. I mean, who could? Nobody on Gabnet is listening to. By Joe the way, Rogan remind me later. Gabnet. I've got a gripe about my numbers on YouTube. Go ahead. Anyway, what were you going to say there, uh, uh, Doctor Gupta? What's his name? Sanjay, Sanjay Gupta. Yeah, Sanjay Gupta. He, He's he one sat, of the Guptas. He sat in front. Right, you... Sanjay Gupta sat in front of Joe Rogan and fact checked him. And Joe Rogan, everything he had to say about COVID, Dr. Gupta said, nope, nope, nope. I and thought it was the other way around. Joe Rogan says, I learned something new. And the mm -hmm. next day, mm -hmm. he's saying, don't get a shot, don't get vaccinated, don't don't wear a mask. I mean, Is that what he said? Did you hear him say that? I don't care. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah, you did. You can go go on YouTube. You can you can watch the. Uh, yeah. It's on YouTube. All right. So scared. So, Sanjay Gupta and you know met mm-hmm. with Joe Rogan to try and straighten him out a little bit, and it it worked while he was sitting there. Joe Rogan was nice to him and said, "Well, I learned something new." Did, hey, you Alex is nice to Joe me. Rogan. Alex is nice to me. What that doesn't mean anything. Only else. because you're the one who has the cocaine. <laughs> He's Only in the old days. Most cops, you know, you can just oh. take all the drugs and uh, yeah, share it with your friends. Hello, yeah. hello, Brian. I used to hate those people. Who? <laughs> who? The ones with all the drugs. I hung around you because you had drugs, and then I have to go show them how to use the bullet. My God, <laughs> tell me. I'm at the urinal, and these guys are asking me, how do you use this? I'm like, oh, my God. Just don't drop it in the urinal, please. <laughs> okay, back to... <laughs> That's good, Brian. Those were fun days. Those were fun days. So, I'm doing good. He's not incriminating himself. But anybody that's Somebody came out of the green room with the punchline one day, yelling to his friends, hey, Robin just did all my coke. Yeah. But anyway... <laughs> And that, that was that was probably true. Yeah, it was. He was the vacuum cleaner. Oh. Uh, do, you, do you remember you had some uh, thing going on up in Lake Tahoe mm-hmm. and uh, some comedy thing? And, and we all went up there. And in your room, there was this guy. He came out with copious amounts of, of Coke. And he was spreading it around. To in my room? I would never allow that to go on in my room. No, it was your room. I would never allow that to oh, go on in my okay. room. Oh, okay. You didn't allow that. <laughs> maybe, well, actually, maybe you were actually, in the bathroom. At that time at Tahoe, Robin yeah. was there because he was yeah. filming a movie with Walter Matthau. And he, we were backstage. It was a, it was a comedy show. I didn't I wasn't hosting it or anything. But I just went up there to give you. everybody support. And um, uh, uh, Robin came backstage and brought Walter Matthau with him. Oh, um, I, I didn't go there, but uh, that was I was still thrill. in the room with the guy with the big baggie. <laughs> you were there with the Coke, right. Yeah. What year was this? Uh, I don't know. I never had anybody in my room with had to Coke be ever. 82, and 81? If, if I did, I would have called the cops and had them oh, come yeah, and arrest yeah, absolutely. him. absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I guess you you had to hide your coke when Robin was in the room. Oh, you had to hide your jokes when Robin was in the oh, room. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he used to pay Monty Hoffman for his jokes, and you know, Jeremy Kramer. Those guys. He used didn't to pay. Mo- he never Robin. had to pay Monty Hoffman for a joke because there wasn't anything worth buying. Well, uh, oh, Monty was oh, well. Monty was, was getting a check, you know. But. Uh, yeah, but you got something anyway. No, I mean, I, I just uh, I feel that here's how I feel about the Spotify thing. Uh, yeah. Me, uh, I have all our shows on Spotify. OK, uh, not many people listen to them, but I have all our shows on Spotify. I was thinking about taking them off, you know, uh, just because I didn't want to be part of that. Uh, and it doesn't do me any good being there. So Good for I, you. That would be a great thing to do, Alex. I've thought One about it. Well, all I have to do is just stop posting them, you okay. know. But the thing is that, mm. um, uh, number one, me doing that isn't going to change anything, okay? Uh, but I think that what happens is Spotify says that they are not there to be censors. And my answer to them is they're not there to be a censor for me who does my show for free and they get some kind of monetary value out of me being there. But they're paying Joe Rogan $100 million for that show. And when they did that, they're in business with him and they're responsible for the content of that program. It didn't hit their Spotify stock or, uh, go up it went down quite a me. bit. It went down 12%. Down. Uh, well, even Facebook went down 20%. No, 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 no. Phil, yeah. we're not talking about Facebook. I, I understand. It's ta- just that I understand that uh, Spotify, uh, something increased. They no. uh, Once they signed Joe Rogan, it was a, it was a plus for them. It was a plus for them, but when, they, when this thing hit, they went 12% down in the stock exchange. Yeah. Yeah. And they've well, haven't, they haven't did gotten something, back again. Did something happen? Because uh, I didn't look at the stock market. I thought it was up today, but uh, didn't uh, Facebook lose 20% today? It doesn't matter what yeah. happened to Facebook. Facebook's an entirely yeah. different story. And the reason Facebook's losing it is because there are a lot of questions over there about what they're doing and their numbers. Yeah. 
Well, I, I'm just wondering if it was, it's a social media spiral down. You know, maybe there's something going on with social media if Spotify, Facebook. No, uh, no. Spotify went down as a result of this yeah. whole controversy because it was day and date with the controversy hitting. Facebook, which is now called Meta Platforms, went they didn't hit earnings. Four, Facebook went up four dollars today to three hundred and twenty-three dollars even. What happened to why? Why did I see this headline that said they were down twenty percent? Because you they read. didn't hit earnings today. That's what. Uh, after oh hours. yeah, the, yeah, the earnings. That's the what. Earnings. They took, yeah, they, they I think they went down a hundred dollars after hours missed, or something like that. They missed the earnings. Big deal. Oh, so Tony, you said they went down a hundred dollars. Yeah, my brother owns Facebook stock. They went down over a hundred dollars in after earnings. I know that after trading, right now it's down like twenty percent. Oh, actually, actually, after hours, yeah, it dropped seventy three dollars. Seventy three. I let sort out a hundred. Now it's thirty. Yeah, so so it, it did so fall. He didn't 20. sell it. He didn't lose anything. No, he he's got a long time, so no, so it doesn't really matter. But you don't want to lose that much. But they didn't hit earnings, which is bad. So what? Uh, Companies. You mean you mean the Russians aren't doing business with them anymore? I don't. I don't know. I really. I don't know a lot about Trump it. I have to read into the it. Russians to Facebook. Hey, that's the other thing. The mm -hmm. the Russians. Mm -hmm. uh, you know this thing about Ukraine. I I heard. Hey, what told, about these Russians, huh? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I I I heard somebody read a letter from a Russian guy uh, giving their opinion on what was going on in uh, between Russia and the Ukraine. And I guess there was some interference by Obama back in 2014. Everybody have a drink. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Obama promised a, a deal and made a deal with Ukraine. You got to stop, uh, Phil, because if this keeps going on, I'm going to have to pee. <laughs> Got you. He does. He talks more than my mother does to talk. She used to keep me up all night. You no, know, he's hitting an all-time high for wrong things tonight. Well, yeah. maybe it'll oh, help. You you know, Kenny, Alex, you created like the perfect little monster. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> you really? Out of all your creations, I think he's one of the funniest ones on your show. Really? And the show opening. Didn't I don't help. know. I've got a hand puppet I haven't used yet. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, Cuppy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that Cuppy? Cuppy? Oh, I, I, what's your hand puppet? What? what where would I was get? It Cuppy? Cuppy? No, that no wasn't me. Tomorrow. That was that was my. Uh, that was oh, when we were doing the TV show, and right. we had this guy who had done some uh, 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 puppet shows on public uh -huh. access. Oh, really? And Cuppy, which was just a cup, was, that was his it. puppet. Yeah, Cuppy. Oh. Yeah. But I know uh, my Cuppy wasn't mine. Oh, okay. Mm. You, you don't have your Cuppy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, it, well, maybe you have your blankie. Uh, <laughs> Originally, we were talking about Whoopi Goldberg, and it was just Alex. I don't like what she said, though. That's distasteful. Come Why on. don't you like what she said? That's just that's just being ignorant, really. She's an idiot. Really? I I, are are so you a Jew, me. Jew, Tony? No, but well, I mean, then shut I the fuck up. Just, <laughs> no, but he's, I wasn't he's he's by disrespectful, it. though. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't I, like. I wasn't. This, I, okay, yeah. Let other people talk. Charlie's got his hand up. Yeah, I, I just want to point out one thing. It doesn't matter whether the Jews are a separate race or not. Hitler mm -hmm. believed they were a separate, inferior race. Exactly. So if, if Hitler believed it, then That's it why it's racist. Because he treated the Jews as a race, and he, he hated them, and he killed them just because they were Jewish. Yeah, but, but he, no he felt reason. the same. He Just felt the same way now, about now my question gypsies is, and Catholics. The, the question, the question is, if you ask any Jew, the following mm. question: What was Hitler? A racist or anti-Semitic? Anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic. Okay, so he, being a racist, you would have to be going after a race, wouldn't you? Right. And Jews aren't a race. That's right. Actually, according to the They're, census, back in the 1800s, Jews were a race. Oh yeah, but that's. If you go look at the census, yeah, but, but you're they, talking, they you're talking under race. You're, you're talking about them. the most racist country on the face of the earth. Okay, What's that? Sure, the yeah. United States. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's you know, at it's least you weren't five eighths of a. Do you know? Do you know that worldwide in various countries? I was watching a, a documentary on China tonight, and uh, it was talking trash about china too and the fulongs but, no no well that that, that was another thing okay. altogether but they've they've been going with the uyghurs and so on but this thing dealt with a, a lot of different stuff and, and now what was the point i was going to make 
Uh, oh, oh and they, okay. they over there, what they really hate it most about the United States is how racist they are, how we, racist we are. And in every yeah. other country, we're look upon, looked upon as a very racist country. Yeah, because in the other countries, they just kill and everybody. I don't know if you've noticed, but anti-Semitism yeah. is on the rise here, yeah. too. It's coming back. Thank yeah. yeah. you, Donald oh, yeah. Trump. That's not Donald Trump. Uh, there, there are anti-Semites that are coming out of the woodwork. And because, you know, people are coming over uh, from Pakistan via uh, England, uh, sh uh, taking hostages at, uh, uh, at synagogues. Uh, you know, I'm part of a group, and uh, you know, so is Alan in, in a way, uh, that uh, trains to uh, protect synagogues and churches. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, we're, uh, you know we, we realize that anti-Semitism is on the rise, but it's, it's always been on the rise. I was in Paris uh, uh, for the High Holy Days about 25 years ago, and I, and I went to a temple with a friend of mine who lived in Paris, and there were armed guards in front of the temple. And uh, if they didn't know you, I mean, they had automatic weapons and, and the whole thing. You didn't get in if, uh, if you know, you weren't cleared by them. Well, and, you well know, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something. Uh, uh, the most anti-Semitic um, uh, act that I've ever heard of was uh, Lincoln getting shot because he got shot in the temple. <laughs> Thank you yeah. very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be here yeah, all week. Everybody have a drink. Yeah. How did they get that close to him, too? Uh, he swung what? down, didn't he? Yeah, they got right to the booth on him. Did booth the fire from, uh, from the balcony, or did he swing down? Well, he was yeah. in the balcony, and then he, he was jumped to the fire stage, point blank. and he, he, sprained his, he sprained his ankle. Yeah, he jumped after he shot. Like, that could have been a workers' comp incident. You know, Lincoln wouldn't have made a good boxer because he couldn't take a shot to the head. Uh, oh, don't try and top my wonderful joke <laughs> yeah, about good. getting shot you in guys, the temple, which is maybe are, one of the oldest jokes I know. Look, okay. you guys are all just trying to shoot down the Republican. He was a good president. Lincoln was Republican. He was. He was the first one. Anybody else have any Lincoln jokes? How did you enjoy the play, Mrs. Lincoln? Uh, you know, some things like that. Okay. Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the play? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's the way to overcome an objection. That's the way a salesperson overcomes an objection. You know, other than the price, are there any ideas that are causing you to hesitate? A classic Dale Carnegie. Oh, really? Phil, you don't run Lincoln sales. Oh, you took Dale Carnegie? Carnegie? <laughs> yeah, when I was 18. So did I. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what What was the motto? Uh, how to win friends and influence people. No, no, people. no, that was Book. the name. And then, the, five, and then the, the other one was Percy Whiting's Five Great Rules of Selling. But uh, I don't remember what the motto was. What was it? To be enthusiastic, blah, 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 something like that? Uh, you must, I don't remember. Yeah. I was 18. Yeah. It, 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 was, uh, it was a stupid course. I enjoyed it. I had you a, know. Bo a boss who sent all of us yeah. to it because he thought it was terrific. And we were forced literally to go, oh, yeah, go and, to and otherwise lose our jobs if we didn't, oh, go, to, if we didn't go to Dale yeah, Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. So he was paying for it. So what the hell, every Tuesday night I slept down there and yeah. I they played all these stupid games. Oh. And I'm going... I already am outgoing. I already know how to speak to people. They they would then say, and now everybody has to get up and give a speech to convince. And I'm going, this is what oh. I do every day when I read a commercial. What uh, city did you live in when you did Houston, that? Texas. Okay, I did it in San Francisco. Maybe I was 19. Was it Houston? No, it wasn't Houston. It was uh, uh, Modesto, California, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah nothing like uh, those... Uh, those, uh, those, uh, uh, um, Latinos, huh? Dale Carnegie, Dale yeah. Carnegie courses in Modesto. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, by the uh, way, want to go to LA, turn left at Modesto. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I hear you're going to have a snowstorm coming up there, Alex. Another one? Uh, what, oh, what another, they, another, a, a bomb. another major blizzard like the one we had last week. Isn't it a, a bomb? A, 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 a bomb cyclone. Yeah. Uh, another cyclone. Snowstorm? I didn't even actually, look. actually, tomorrow, uh, where Charlie's at is where it's supposed to start. 
It's supposed to start midnight tonight. It's supposed well, to start tomorrow. snowing, and, it's, and we're going to have four days below freezing, and I'll probably have no electricity again. Does it, does, it, does, it, does it snow often in that part of the country? I didn't think no, it snowed in Texas. No, it used to, it used to be every think? five Thanks. years. Uh, but now, years it's, well, apparently, it's every year now. A yeah. few years ago, I had to go to Dallas, and I was there in January. Matter of fact, I had dinner with Amy and Jack. And uh, what uh, uh, it was so cold. Who was more fun to be out at dinner with, Amy or Jack? They, they were both extremely pleasant. And, I see. Okay. And, and very nice. <laughs> it's strange because you must have left a good influence on them because they say the same thing about you. <laughs> they were, they're very nice people, you know, and, and you know, and uh, you know, just because they come on the show and they hate Republicans. Uh, well, no I, by the way, I, I heard a great uh, story today. I was watching YouTube again. It was Dick Cavett yeah. interviewing. That's what I did. Oh, you watch Dick Cavett interviewing like interviewing Phil Silvers. Uh, All right. Do you know who Phil Silvers was? Sure. Uh, Tony, uh, Tony uh, not you. Sergeant Bilko. I don't think so. I asked, Sergeant I asked, Bilko. Wait a minute, I'm asking Tony. Oh, I actually don't know. Is he an actor? No. See, see, see. I mean, that's the difference in age. <laughs> I like the cabbage. He's a football play. player. Now, now, let me ask him, Charlie. You know who Phil Silvers is? Sure, I watch the show all the time. Yeah, oh, so I remember when you had Tony Cabot on the show. I taped that. Well, anyway, the interview. I'm serious. Anyway, but he died before Tony was born. Probably. I like the cabbage. He died in 1985. Yeah. When were you born, Tony? Uh, 69. 69. Okay. My mother had me early. I was supposed to be born in December. Oh, she he's on coffee there. again. I uh, am. Yeah. He did fall down the stairs, the yeah. side steps. Three. Okay, anyway, here's here anyway, we go. So, yeah. anyway, Phil Silvers tells the story about how he had been on the Dick Cavett show previously with Jack Benny. Oh, I would have liked to hear that. And, will you let me okay. tell the story? Yeah, tell you, now you got me to get it. Out of mute him. Mute him. Mute me. No, yeah. I'm not going to mute you. Anyway. He said that he uh, he was on the show with Jack Benny, and that when he was on the show with Jack Benny with Cavett, the last time he said he was doing on the uh, how I uh, what uh, on the way to the forum. What's that show? Uh, the Broadway Funny show. Thing Funny happened thing happened on the way to the, way to the forum, and uh, he said that uh, uh, Benny for the whole interview did nothing but say how wonderful he was in the, the forum show. What funny thing happened on the way to the forum? And uh, he, he, after the show, he's walking out with Benny, and he says, you know, it was very nice of you, Jack, to say those nice, wonderful things about me, but you took up so much of the time that could have been done and talked about you and your history and so on that uh, uh, all you talked about was me, and it was very nice and very effusive, but quite frankly, you didn't have to do it because I don't think much of you. He said <laughs> He's a very funny man. He said Benny was on the pavement laughing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. He, that was a good he setup. Was a straight face. Oh, That's by the funny. way, do you know who Jack Benny was, uh, Tony? Uh, yeah, I, I love Jack. When I watch his old shows all the time on YouTube. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. I well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, what was his driver's name? Rochester. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, and, um, but it was, you know, I mean, um, where he seemed like a classy guy, like you said, Alex. Jack, that's what Jackie said, Jack. Like the way you, when you watch old interviews with him, just the way he carries himself. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something about YouTube. Okay. Now, I do the show on Monday, and it gets very large numbers compared to these shows. Uh, you know, I always look forward to seeing how high they're going to get. Okay. Uh, last week, uh, the show last week between all the various outlets and so on, got something like 600 views, which is pretty damn yeah, good for... 33 for, or something like huh? that. Huh? Yeah. No. I thought it was 633, yeah. Well, no, that's between all the different outlets we uh, have. Uh, it's on oh, Facebook. Uh, I saw it on YouTube. I thought it was... Well, YouTube, I, it was at 465, something like that. But then, well, you, have to, then you have to add the 100 that I get there, and then there's yeah. some more somewhere else. And it comes about 600. This week, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at the numbers because I like to. They make me feel good. And I go over and I look to see where the number is, right? And the number today was at, th at 390, which right. two days after the show has gone on, 390 is pretty damn good, right? 
I then click on the thing to refresh it to see if the number has gone higher, and it goes down to 310, 200, 200 wait, 310. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess those people were thrown off. Well, of the where YouTube did they? Platform. Why did they rob me? Of, I, this has happened before. Why did well, they the, rob me of those viewers? Well, maybe they demonet they they took those other viewers and they cut them off from YouTube because they were spreading false information. You know, no, but I don't understand it. You know, and I, I I'm beginning to feel I'm getting mad at all of this. You know, these yeah. are things I have no control over. I don't know that the number that they're serving up is actually the real number. It might not be. Don't yeah. you get paid a certain amount per view? Uh, I, yeah, I get paid a certain amount per view. Yeah. Not much, but it's no, doesn't it have to be over a certain number of views to get to get money? No. Oh, no. I, get, so I get I get it from view one. They run those little commercials before the show. Yeah. Yeah. Then I get a little bit of that money. Now, every listen, every quarter it comes to it comes to about maybe three four hundred dollars a year. Now, if people listen to the uh, full thing and don't skip it, mm -hmm. uh, do you get more money? No. Uh, so even if they skip the ad, you get the same. All amount they care of about is the playthrough on the commercial at the beginning. Oh, but if the if the thing doesn't play through. You, do you get the same amount of money? So if somebody's I think watching, if they watch half of it, the commercial, I get money for it, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. usually comatose through the first half of the commercial. No, but I'm getting, I a, realize. I'm getting a check this month for like $110. Oh, okay. wow. No, and that's what do you mean, oh, wow. Don't. Well, <laughs> we're looking forward to our distribution. <laughs> you want to get a cut. <laughs> Brian needs the money. He's got a McLaren to tune up. <laughs> I mean, you know. My wife's cutting down to part time at her job because yeah. she's exhausted, and uh, so we need every penny we can get. So that hundred dollars from Google will go yeah. a long yeah. way, long towards, way. Yeah. towards the refrigerator fund. Hey, uh, you know, I noticed on the show that uh, you do on Mondays. Uh, I think uh, Marjorie came in and gave you a cup of coffee, and she was wearing an ocean T-shirt. And that ocean T-shirt, that's a group that I donate money to that cleans plastic out of the ocean. Yeah, well, they gave her a free one because of your donation. Oh, really? So, Phil, okay. you give the donations, but you don't go. <laughs> what, what, Brian? You, you give the donations, but you don't go out there and help? Uh, I, I've done fish counts uh where uh, uh you, you go in and uh, what is a fucking fish count <laughs> I'm having another drink. Yeah, I'm not, what do you do do you sit there going Probably one two, two <laughs> three yeah, basically you're looking for certain kinds of fish oh, wait a minute wait a minute on one chart. two three but did i count that one twice well you know <laughs> maybe they all look uh, alike uh, you know, uh, this is uh, one of the things I bought from that ocean site. This is a metal straw. And, you do. You know, and so that you don't use a plastic straw. Uh, you know, it's I believe it's called Four Ocean. And uh, yeah, I, I donate. Uh, How much white powder is in that straw? <laughs> I got a different thing for that. <laughs> it's like a needle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's very, the, it's very, it's very nice that you got that. It's, it's very sanitary. Uh, by the way, very sanitary. Yeah. Well, you, you wash it out, and the thing actually comes. Let me uh, show you. Here's the it comes. Counts. It comes it? with a brush. So it, it, it this thing comes with a brush that, like a you, work. that you can clean out the straw. Yeah, you can buy a box of straws for two dollars and stop and shop. But just yeah, tell them. You have yeah, to whatever happened. Wait, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but whatever just happened to the paper straws? When I was a kid, yeah, all they I had were paper straws. Used to be I mean, I, I, I like paper straws. Brian, if I ha halfway through a, a milkshake, it pretty much was paper mache. But you know, well, you know, paper straws. If the paper's got drug residue in it, you set it on fire while the police are coming. Well, there are some like cardboard. Straws, yeah, yeah. And I like about. those. And yeah. there's ones made out of bamboo, uh, you know, which is renewable. But uh, mm -hmm. the, the whole the whole idea is, you know, you, you, you don't want the forest to, to get down, thrown down. And also mm -hmm. the plastic straws and all the plastic ends up killing wildlife yeah. and fowl right. and waterfowl, <laughs> but uh, with turtles. The why is it, why is it ended with... up in the ocean? Why isn't it going in the garbage? Uh, that's where they take the garbage and they yes. throw it in the ocean. 
Who's they? Uh, the Chinese, I think. Yeah, uh, they were, you know, we, we, we were sending them garbage. all our garbage. Don't say it, Tony. Don't say it. Uh, I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to have Chinese you know, hey, tonight. We talked we about it. it. Don't say that. We were sending uh, all our garbage for a while to China. They were buying our garbage. Our right? we paying them. recyclables. Yeah, we were taking. <laughs> because all our landfills were gone. Right. Yeah. And so what ended up happening is all of that medical waste and stuff was washing up on the beaches. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they they weren't disposing of it. They were just it's just a Chinese fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's uh, uh there's a species um called, uh, it's uh, it's got these spines i can't remember what uh, the name of it is i would see them all the time in the caribbean uh they're very colorful and uh they're they're trying to convince people to eat them uh but um they're killing all the fish uh the other fish in the caribbean where they're not supposed to be this is what's what are you talking them? about uh, I'm talking about uh, endemic species that are killing uh, other species. Uh, By the way, that's a picture that Phil took while he was underwater. Yeah. yeah One, we've seen it. two. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. A hammerhead and a, and a, I got, uh, I got more. a tiger shark. I won't show them tonight, though. Mm. Okay. What, what? Uh, you wouldn't get me in, a, in one of those steel cages no, of sharks. Right. Yeah, yeah, he goes out and swims. Yeah. They feed the damn things by hand. That's crazy. Well, you know, I mean, I think sharks are misunderstood. Um, I don't think they necessarily, if you're underwater, are going to go after you. No, they don't. You know. I mean, there might be some, like the bull shark uh, is a very aggressive shark, but the tiger sharks, the lemons, uh, and the hammerheads that I encountered had, you know, weren't aggressive at all. Yeah, they they eat fish, other fish, and that's and their that's their diet, not people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you know they were getting wiped out like crazy after the movie Jaws yeah, yeah. came out. After Jaws, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, and, and they're still getting wiped out for for their fins. Uh, yeah. They're you know they're they're cutting their yeah. fins off yeah. and then they're throwing the live shark finless. Back in the back in the water. You know who did uh, a great documentary on that? Yeah, that that, that uh, Gordon, guy, who, Gordon Ramsay, uh, the cook, Gordon uh, Ramsay. Yeah, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. I saw Ramsay that did. five part documentary. No, it was, it was one one documentary. One part. It was five parts though. It was one part. Phil, who's doing who's doing the shark fin soup? Uh, Chinese. Chinese again? Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Tony, you like shark fin soup? I never had it. I mean, I only get one really? time. Wow. An egg drop, actually. I like wonton egg drop, too, mix, but... You know, in New York, if you go out... Well, you would like, you would like fin soup, a shark fin soup, because that's number one, I mean, number one it's not like. politically correct. That's to begin um, with. And um, secondly, it's Chinese. Yeah, you know, if you didn't tell me it was fish, I would try it. But you won't eat shark... Is it like a wonton fish? noodle or no? I love those wonton noodles, you know, the wonton soup. You no, know, we just had yesterday, and he's... Marjorie stopped at downtown at uh, Italy and got us raviolis. Oh, Ooh, did you get the cheese ones? No, the meat. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. My mother liked the cheese. Yeah. Did you like the meat? Meat's cheese good raviolis me. suck. Yeah, I can't eat really? cheese raviolis. Yeah, yeah. You uh, get those at Costco, the cheese ones. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but meat. this is really, these I are really them. good. I mean, these really? are really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're fresh made there. Oh, and nice. so you gotta, as soon as you bring them home, you cook them. Oh, then. she gets enough so we have two days worth. Oh, that's oh, nice. Man. They could left over too the next day. You just you feed them up. Or 20 pounds, as I call it. Oh, yeah. those are good. Yeah. I haven't had in a while. Yeah. So what's new with you, Brian? Uh, nothing. Just work. We're uh, starting up the new building, so it's exciting. We're making product now, so it's good. Yeah. A long way to go, but... It's a good start. When you say yeah. product, you mean those little things and everything? All yeah, the... the little things. Yeah, the tests. So, yeah, so it's, it's good. Now, do you also make the machines that assay the tests? Yeah, okay. we <clears throat> we do everything. Um, we build the, the machine that does all the assembly of the stuff. And Could then, I, did I just use the proper term, by the way, assay the tests? Yes. Oh, good. good for me. <laughs> Vertically <laughs> integrated. I am just so and terrific. We bought the we bought that plastic mold and judging company that that uh, makes our plastic stuff, and we we actually invented not me but the the, the owners the original owners invented the 
the instrument that tests the cartridge and then we bought a place up in washington to do all the chemicals for the cartridge yeah so we what, really what, what he does by the way in case you're just tuning in on us for the first time and that's highly unlikely um uh, uh, he is a uh, his company makes basically tests including <clears throat> the test for covid and uh, yeah. yeah we started out with anthrax for the uh, for well, you government. know something Everybody starts out with anthrax, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we work with Luther Grimmer, so all the post office hubs have our system, so they test all the mail coming in. So, and the great thing How about do they know to test a piece of mail? What makes them suspicious uh, that a uh, piece of mail has anthrax? White powder. Well, that could be Coke, but, you know. When all the mail's going through, you see it going real fast, like on the news and stuff, it creates like a little air tornado, and we grab air samples every half hour. Where at, at the post office? Yeah, all the post office hubs. Wow, yeah. wow, really? Yeah. What's the name of your company? Seppi. Right there on his hat. I can't read it; it's blurry. Seppi. Seppi. Oh, okay. C H E I D. How can it be blurry? He's got four K. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, I'm only sending this out in 1080p. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm, after this show, I got a peek too. Okay. How come we didn't get hats like that? We don't. We don't rate. Yeah, I thought you were going to send me some more. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just looked over here. Yeah, I have this one, and Adrian has a couple drawings for you. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, I, she, I, is, uh, is your art getting better, by the way? Besides the yes, stick figures. Yes, she's doing it nonstop. Yeah. I mean, is it? it it's not it's stick figures dances. anymore, right? She's she's doing. Uh, yeah, she's doing uh, good. She's doing a lot of uh, still bodies and like proportions are, you know, really good. And yeah, so she every time there's something that she can do, she does. A, she draws for really? show and tell. She draws. They have a letter every day, every week and she draws something for it. like she drew a dog tonight for tomorrow's show and tell. She doesn't like bringing stuff to animal or toys. She wants to draw it. So it's pretty cool. Wow, that's terrific. Deeper. Yeah. So we do the, you go on, on YouTube, on YouTube with the how to draw. And there's a guy there with their kids and they do these drawing things. And so her and Phil, I do Phil, it Phil, Phil oh, Brian, kind of, Brian Phil. what do you do? Say, hey, Adrian, here's dinner. I just drew it for you. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, Phil brought up something which is good. You're not going to have to sell her. Sell her? Yeah. You're not going to have to sell. Oh, forget it. <laughs> I thought that yeah. would get a big laugh from everybody, but apparently everybody was in a coma. That's why nobody watches this show. <laughs> um, I still have a 15-year-old for sale. Male. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, that's about <laughs> it. 15 is about when you want to get rid of them. Does he pull weeds and pick up dog poop? No, unfortunately. He's... <laughs> How good is he, then? I know, I know. How yeah, is he? It's on good work. Work. Uh, everything is just still skyrocketing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's still going crazy. I mean, How, no matter uh, what's going on with all this stuff, we still have data that people are going to be testing forever. Yeah. So I I just took a test for something called SIBO, which is uh, a bacteria in your uh, uh, small intestines to see if you know if you have gas and things. Goodbye, like that. all you people out there but, who was listening to the but show. The already. SIBO <laughs> test. You actually you blow into a thing and you put the air into ten tubes and then you send them off and they analyze the air. I guess and that's then they hold similar. them all up and say, "Do you see Bo?" Yeah, I see Bo. Do you see? Let Bo? me ask you this, Phil. Why did you tell that story? Uh, because it was a testing story. I just took it over the weekend. It was the only and... testing story you took a SIBO test? Yes. Why do they suspect you have SIBO? No, I've been constipated. And uh, and that could be because of the radiation. Oh boy! No, no, it could it could be because of the radiation. TMI. Uh, aside, TMI. Uh, Tree prune juice. Yeah, yeah right, uh, Tony. Juice. Or either that, or do what I do: eat chicken skin. That'll make give me well, the trots the next day. Yeah. Well, oh, anyway, boy. I'm, I'm yeah. trying with this uh, to see if it's SIBO, my nutrition. So you blow into a bag with a dildo attached. Know, why you do and in the you bag, put the tube. And you the put bag. The, <laughs> Yeah, that's what the doctor was telling them. All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. Close to nutritionist, I can tell you. Just eat, drink, prune juice. You ship right out. Here's the bag. This well, this one is oh, it working? Like long. There you go. Blow into it. Now, if I had the tube, there's a needle in here, and the tube has a one-way valve. 
And you should... push it in, you continue to blow, and then you, you know. pull the thing out. And you How are you going to get the air out of there now? Oh, uh, out of this? Mm -hmm. you, you just uh, crush it. Well, okay. And, uh, and then you wait 20 minutes, and you do the next tube. It took three hours to do this test. And really? what are they supposed Isn't it to based on your carbon dioxide output or something? Uh, like that? No, there's a uh, hydro. Uh, there's hydrogen some output. Yeah. What, well, is, what are you trying to find out? Why you're. Yeah, I'm getting with this one. Uh, well, why? There, if, if I do have SIBO, there's a. Uh, there's a, a drug they can give me that will knock it out in two weeks. Uh -huh. And if you don't have SIBO, are they going to give you your time back? Uh, no. Uh, I, or, or my $145 to analyze it. How many pills do you take a day? You started saying that early in the interview with Alan. Uh, 19, How many a day? 19, but not all of them are drugs. Some of them, uh, many of them are uh, supplements. Oh. So oh you have very God. expensive pee is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. yeah what color is the pee? Like, <laughs> it's, it's clear. It's clear. It must be glow in the dark. Yeah, no, it's clear, though. No, uh, when I, whenever I do a vitamin C, up. my pee turns orange. Yeah, yeah I, I only take yeah. 500 milligrams of vitamin C a day. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, between uh, there's glutathione, there's zinc, there's A, there's D, there's uh, CoQ10, there's, you know, I, I am the nutritionist. They uh, allow you community. to take CoQ10 with your diabetes medicine? Yeah, it's good They're for your heart. Contraindicated. Nah, it's it's oh. good for your heart. A good for your heart, but the, the, the I would I check with your doctor and make sure it isn't contraindicated. Yeah. Well, you know, I just got a form from Kaiser, and they wanted me to write down all the pills and all the supplements I take, mm -hmm. so that uh, mm -hmm. they they could look at them. Yeah. Well, they should. You should do that. Yeah. Because they should tell you whether. Okay. Yeah, I take, I take turmeric. I. I, oh, I, I you know, turmeric right. and uh, a whole a whole bunch of other turmeric. Things. It's I take a lot of stuff like that too, but I I run them by the pharmacist <clears throat> to uh, make sure. I didn't think you ran by anything. Oh, oh stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> by the way, I All want right, to know how the three people who are on the chat feel like being the only three people on the chat. Wow. As forming and, Colossus, and there, there might be more, but you, there might be more, but you probably blocked them all. Tyson's Acosta, <laughs> and uh, let me yeah. see here, and John Redshaw. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. John used to call. Well, tomorrow I'm getting, uh, I'm having a Zoom call with the producers of a TV show that they're working on, which they want me to be a consultant on. Oh. On, on public access here in New York. Oh, it's not paid. Well, if they want a lot of, if they if they're going to go into production with it, and they want me to consult it, I want to get paid. Sure. Oh, uh, can uh, do you do you have an NDA, or can you say what the thing is about? It's about I said about public access. Oh, you know, oh. On, on the chat, somebody said the reason why Phil doesn't get attacked by sharks is sharks don't eat their own. <laughs> well, I'm not an attorney, <laughs> but he plays one on TV. Right. Why? Yeah, anyway. I, I like your intro. The intro now it says something about Phil talking, and then this guy says, "Drink." Oh, <laughs> you haven't, that, you haven't heard that one. today. That's, that's an old one. Yeah, that's, that's so an old. old. That's, that's uh, Jim Browning. That's that's Revelstoke Jim. How many uh, here remember Revelstoke Jim? Remember him? Yeah. I, I thought he was he was a great broadcaster. He could tell a story and just. Oh, but those moose stories are great. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed him a lot. He didn't like me, but. <laughs> Well, the thing is that he all of a sudden one day hated me. I don't know why. I never got any indication why. Just he dropped me like you know, like uh, I was I was uh, Red Death. Well, yeah. I, I I could tell you, but uh, you wouldn't believe me. What? Well, he was the president of Gadnep, right? Yeah. And you decided to put a show on that he didn't want on, and yeah. you did it anyway. And I think that's why he split. Well, but that was stupid. Uh, but of course, but you know, uh, I maybe he took his position seriously. You know. Uh, did he talk to Alex about it? They didn't talk. He no, I, he, I, I, this is my <clears throat> This is uh, I summarized this from uh, surmised from, it. From went, surmised it from what went on. Uh, <laughs> drink. Yeah, drink. drink. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey. 
you know, I I was the part of the class that made the top half possible. The bottom the half. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, but uh, you know, I mean, the show was a sex show. Yeah. Uh, called uh, Living Sexy or something like that. But it wasn't really a sex show. It was very hey, light. Bill it was, was a star. Yeah. No wonder why. Huh? Yeah. Uh, now. Uh, yes, I, I understand, but I think he had an issue, uh, his wife's job or something no, like that. No, no, no. no he, he just, I think, wanted to get out of the whole situation. And he used that right, as an excuse. Right. He used that as an excuse. Because, I mean, I always I always treated him well. I never, you uh, know. You guys were kind of close friends. I I thought, you know, yeah, I, yeah. it was strange that it was yeah. like. It was very, it was very hurtful. Didn't he have some health issues, too? I mean, what, yeah, yeah, but he's still alive, so how bad could they have been? Yeah. You know? And I think he still does a show. <laughs> he lost no, he his hearing really? in one no, he ear doesn't. one day. He doesn't do a show anymore. No, no. Uh, I thought he was. I checked show. lately. He hasn't doesn't do anything. He was with a radio station in Revelstoke yeah. for a short time, and that was about it. And you know, I mean, I I, I was very hurt by him leaving. Uh, you know, it was I, I and the way he did it. It made me feel yeah. bad about. It. Made yeah, me feel the very way he bad. Did it. I didn't think he deserved it. I think he should have. I don't. If he think, had something on his mind. Yeah. He should have. No, it. but I think don't think I deserved it. No, I, you know, I think I deserved a little. That's more. what I said. I don't think you deserved it. I, yeah. I think if he had something on his mind, he should have been big enough to say what was on his mind. Yeah. And not just go and ghost you. You know, and uh, the only reason why I wasn't going to take these people off is because I, I gave them my word that they could do a show. They, they wanted a place to put their show on. And basically, yeah. we were just the outlet for it. Oh, I, I talked to Barry about Rob's show. And Barry, uh, Barry is under the impression that if it's streaming on two different things, you got to pay uh, the ASCAP BMI fees for both for both things separately. Uh, yeah, separately. Yeah. But he's going he's going to look into it further for you. But uh, his first impression was you got to pay. Hmm. So uh, well, into the weather, it's snowing in Austin. Well, Texas. You know, Rob's got a nice show. Uh, I I sometimes stream his uh, well, his very feed. Nice. Very good. In, in my car, I, I I like listening to it. And occasionally, he'll he'll go in and say something. Uh, it's a lot of music. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's good. Snow. Huh? It's leading and snowing here now. It's it, yep. it, it's supposed to get down to like twenty one. Hmm. No, I feel a lot right. like so far your electricity is on your heater. Works. Well, let me see here. Uh, um, uh, Echo, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Echo, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? <laughs> it's damn cold. <laughs> okay, so that's not, it's mean snow. It looks like there's going to be, it looks like a little snow on Friday. Friday's going to have snow. Actually, the latest forecast I saw right before the show said you, you may not get snow in New York. It may just be rain and cold or something like that. yeah so well in walnut creek it's 45 degrees wow crazy so, damn cold maybe i'll cold. maybe i'll get a weather map again. to put behind me and i can do the weather that'll up the people <laughs> listening i huh? think i'm gonna start that way huh i don't know 45 here i can't remember which way to point let alone <laughs> hit the cities on the map like the weather people do that's yeah. that's a talent well, now they don't. Before they used to have to look at a monitor off to the side of them and say, yeah. "Here's the dent, dent." That was really a talent. Now that's a big uh, LED screen, big oh. huge LED oh. screen. Uh, okay. They buy those things by the yard now, and mm -hmm. uh, they put the map up there, and they know exactly where to point. And they can see it right behind mm -hmm. them. So, no, it's fog it's, advisory in New York City right now. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get fog. Whoop de fucking do. Well, yeah. anyway. Don't get lost in the fog, Tony. I, mean, I, I hardly leave the house. Go to the post office, come back, get food, come back. That's yeah, that's have it. Some more coffee. Yeah. Oh, like this is a small, you can get this in the Gabnet store. This is for tying mm -hmm. children to uh, a post so they don't get pushed in front of a subway train in New York. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Any, anyway, anyway thank you very going, much, man. Alan, for being here. And, and uh, Brian, of course. Always great having you here. And of course, Charlie, you're so smart. I liked having you here. Uh, His t-shirts are smart. <laughs> they are very smart, but not as smart as he is. And finally, thanks to Phil for being here tonight. And he stuck with us. Thank you, Phil. I really appreciate it. Everybody. Hey, it's Wednesday. 
And why, don't you, no. why, why don't you give a big wave hey, goodbye, man. and I'll give a big <laughs> wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Let me just uh, turn down their sound and also get rid of them. That, that would be nice, too. Anyway, hey, listen, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. Stick around. Give him a call uh, because he would love to talk to you. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, get vaccinated. And if you don't get vaccinated, don't get near me. <laughs> <laughs>